Hey everyone, today I'm going to teach you how to make the most amazing artisan bread. It's a no-need recipe. It's very simple to make and it's very fast. You can make it in one day easily. Come on with me and I'll teach you how to make it. Alright, I'm excited to make this for you guys today. This is a very fast, very good recipe and it's super simple to make. All you're going to need for the ingredients are salt, olive oil, flour, very hot water, and some active dry yeast. Super simple. Let's just get started here. We're going to need three cups of flour. So you measure out three cups of flour into this, uh, just a large mixing bowl. You guys are going to be just so happy with this recipe, both for its ease to make and for its taste. Oh, it's going to be fantastic. So there's our three cups of flour. And I know this is going to seem strange, but all you're going to use is one quarter teaspoon of yeast. We're just going to add a quarter teaspoon of yeast. And we're going to add one and one half teaspoons of salt. And this is a little, little extra salt, but I love the flavor uh, that it gives the bread. It's just the perfect amount, in my opinion. I'm going to whisk that together, distribute all the ingredients. And then we're going to add our water. Remember, this is very hot water. It's not scalding hot. You're not going to hurt the yeast. We're just going to mix it together. It's going to be a very loose and shaggy dough, they call it. And that is good. Um, this is going to make for an amazing looking and tasting bread. And it's going to uh, just work very, very fast. As you can see, I'm just combining the ingredients really quick. And you know, Italian, uh, Italian bread is a savory uh, style bread, as I mentioned before. And uh, the olive oil uh, is going to make it just taste amazing. I had about a tablespoon. All right. So what we're going to do with this is all that we have to do: mix the ingredients together very quickly. We're going to cover it with a warm towel or a towel and set it. You don't even have to set this in a warm place. All you're going to do is let this rise for three to five hours. Now, in my opinion, five hours is the best. Uh, the last batch I made, I increased the time that I let it proof by an hour. I usually did four hours. You can do as little as three and it will work just fine. But five hours, let the flavors develop, and it was amazing. After five hours, this is what we have looks very bubbly. It's puffed up quite a bit, maybe twice its size that uh, it originally was. And smelling fantastic. What we're going to do is we're going to turn this out. We're going to put a little flour here onto the counter. We have our oven heating currently to 375 degrees. You can see this is very a very sticky dough, very shaggy as they call it. I'm just going to drop a little bit of flour, to keep it from sticking here, and we're just going to turn it a few times. 
in on itself. Very easy recipe. There's no kneading involved with this. This one is quite shaggy, so we're going to give it a little bit of extra flour here. Just kind of bunch it up in a ball here, turn it in. We've got some parchment paper here. We're going to turn this onto the parchment paper, let it rest in another bowl. Inside our oven we have something very special. We have a Dutch oven. So while the oven is, is heating up, uh, you want to put this in the oven to get this hot as well. You want to make sure that you've got uh, one with a uh, metal handle here. And this is going to be extremely hot. Uh, what that's going to do is when the bread is cooking inside the Dutch oven, it's going to create steam. It's going to give it the bread a, a beautiful crustiness. And that's what a lot of professional bakeries do. So, we'll get this in our oven, we'll get this heated up, and in about 30 minutes, we're going to drop everything in here, parchment paper included, uh, and we're going to cook that bread for about 30 minutes. Alright everyone, we're going to take our heated Dutch oven out of the oven here. Careful, this is extremely hot. We are going to transfer our parchment paper bread in here. We're going to leave it just like that. Put the top back on. Back in the oven for 30 minutes. Alright, it's been a half an hour. What we're going to do is we're going to take the top off. We're going to put the bread back in the oven to crisp up the crust. That is looking beautiful just the way it is, but we want a little bit crispier crust. Now I found that um, about eight minutes is perfect for this. There it is, folks. That is gorgeous. I'm just going to pull this out of here. Look at that gorgeous artisan bread. We appreciate you watching. Subscribe to our channel. Have a great day. We're so happy you joined us and we hope you enjoyed the bread. Please click on the video on the right hand side of the screen to see our review of the Marble Small Camp Axe. Also click on the subscribe button, we'd love to have you here on a permanent basis. Give us a thumbs up on the video and then go visit our blog at countrylivingexperience.com. Appreciate it. Thank you.